Hi, it's Mids from My Life Mids. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today I have an unboxing video from Lady Falcon Travelers. I'm very excited to get in. I've already cut this label open. I just wanted to let you know it arrived in like a plastic sheet cover uh, so that it wouldn't get damaged by the rain, which I really appreciate. I've never seen this packaging box before. Uh, it has the company information there, which is nice, and then a nice quote there, and then you just kind of cut the bottom. So let's get her open. So here's uh, the postcard. It says, thank you for your continued support, Monique. As always, I will leave the information down below. And yes, so I, wow. <laughs> I don't know where to begin. I did order several things, but I'm not sure. Um, okay, <laughs> so let's see. Let's open this one here. I'm gonna try and see if I can salvage the stickers, but I'm not sure. Yeah, let's see. If you are interested, um, if you're curious, sorry, I did not get any custom charges for uh, this package. Oh, these are freebies, Monique. Thank you. I didn't order this. This is a remember tab. It's, it's in leather. So you can clasp it onto your binder as well as a charm that says why sometimes I've believed as many as six impossible things before breakfast. <laughs> There's a charm there with a leather tab. This is really, really nice. Um, yes, I didn't receive any custom charges. I know in the past, when 100% of the time when I order the Jillio items, I get custom charges. Even though one time it was um, marked as a gift and it was I would purchased it secondhand, I was still charged customs. But for some reason, uh, I don't know. I yeah, I didn't get any custom custom charges from Monique. And. Oh, these are the leather samples that I ordered. So these are the leather samples that I've ordered. I know this may not be 100% true to color because everybody's computer screen is a bit different, but um, I am I was very curious about the colors and now I don't remember the, oh, it's right here. So eight, nine, this is a nine, <laughs> 10 and 12. I really need to <clears throat> take a look back at my invoice because I think I ordered something like honey and maybe tan um, English bridal maybe I'm not sure but yes if I remember to I will post the numbers and their corresponding description in the description box down below so you can see the difference I'm, I'm a huge like earthy toned girl when it comes to travelers notebooks and things I really like the browns and um, yeah, yeah. So these are the different colors, I think. But yeah, I don't want to spend too much time on this because I know there's more to unbox. But if you are ever interested, she does offer the leather swatches. Let me put the packaging up here. And then these ones, I oh yes, I ordered. Um, the smaller leather the smaller leather tabs and I put them in my notes as to what I would like to have written on them so this is miscellaneous oops uh, notes uh, today and to do and I think I have several sets that I've ordered I think you can glue these on to the actual these little tabs tab things or the tag things which is really nice I didn't know that it included these so I am very appreciative I was going to just glue them to like a folder or a dashboard but this would work really nice because then you can interchange them between your different planners and notebooks and things so they're all little um, let me see if I can do a quick comparison with the sizing so that's the small one and then that's the big one there they're really nice and thin, um, but not flimsy at all. So it's not like, you know, they're going to curl in. They're very, very tough. I don't know if you can gauge that, but it's very, very tough. Um, yeah, 
So those are the tabs. I ordered a couple of sets, I believe. So I think that's what's in there. I'm guessing. <laughs> Let me just double check. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Monique, oh my gosh! She's included um, the DIY pen loop. Oh, thank you, Monique. That's really nice of her. This is in a beautiful... Oh, this is really nice leather. Does it say the leather type? I don't believe so. This is really nice. It's like a distressed... Uh, distressed brown is the best way I can describe it. But that's very, very pretty. I use these in my uh, regular size traveler's notebooks. I just glue them to my folder and it fits... It fits perfectly and it stays input as well. Oh, Monique, she's spoiling me. So, so there, these are up close. So nice, Monique. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so uh, let's put these over here. I I don't know where to begin. Okay, so uh, let's open this little guy here. I'm not sure. The, I don't believe I have this new one. This is like a new pouch. It's like a light blue, sky blue color and the logo's there. Monique, my goodness, I didn't order this. <laughs> oh my gosh. my gosh, Monique. Wow. Wow. Oh my gosh. That's beautiful. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's beautiful. Thank you so much. And she's included uh, a small notebook. I don't know what size this would be called a, a micro or a nano I don't I don't know I don't even have one this is my first one ever oh my gosh <laughs> thank you let's open this up I like the fact that she always um, protects the charms as well and there's the bookmark there with the metal charms oh wow thank you Monique so pretty okay gosh <laughs> I'll leave that last because I, I know what this one is oh my goodness oh my goodness what is this oh she's she's sending me these leather samples oh wow this one is very soft very smooth I think these are the new leathers for the pen pen pouches that's very, very nice. If I can get a good shot, like a close-up shot of these leathers, that's what they look like on the back if you're interested. Some people um, like to know the backs as well. But um, yeah, if I can get like a close-up shot, I'm thinking that these are the new leathers that she has for the pen pouches and things. I believe that that's what these are. This is more of like a shiny leather. They're all very pretty. This one is really smooth. Like it's almost silky. Wow. They're all very... Oh, the leather smell <laughs> is so nice. This one is more of like a textured one, the orange one. But yes. Oh my goodness. Okay. So Sitting at the bottom here were these uh, information sheets. That's the business card and the bookmarks and pamphlet. So you can pause that if you are curious. I will also leave a coupon code down below if you are interested. I purchased these items uh, during her daughter's, I think it was a 22nd birthday and she had a 22% off sale. And so I, I went for these items then. Um, I know she has an Easter sale going on right now and I'm very, very tempted to purchase an A5 Slim size because I really want to switch my A5 Slim uh, Traveler's Notebook up and so I'm eyeing, I'm eyeing it right now. I'm, I'm not sure what I should do. 
But um, yes, I know, I think I know these two because this is what I ordered. I'm not sure what this one is here. She's spoiling me, Monique. Oh my gosh. <laughs> So there's some die cuts here. I didn't know she did. I was watching John's uh, John Rush. He's a huge enabler when it comes to Traveler's Notebooks. Uh, he did show some like die cuts as well, but I didn't know she's actually selling them. Or yeah, I, I believe so then. If she has these in her shop, so I'm assuming that uh, she's selling these die cuts for journaling. So let's quickly take a look at. Some of the pieces. I know this video is or over 10 minutes already, um, but these are really great pieces for junk journaling. Uh, if you watch certain TV shows, you can journal about your TV shows and things like that. These would be really great borders around your pictures. Sorry, it's hard to see, <laughs> but yes, very, very nice touch. And let me put these down here. This is the B6 folder and a fountain fountain pen friendly paper I believe this is also B6 size handmade in the Netherlands and her, her uh, notebooks all oh this is craft paper oh my gosh her notebooks all are they're not stapled they're stitched which is really nice just going to open this up here and she always has really pretty pretty covers Oh, this is craft paper. That's really nice. You can see there, they're hand stitched right in the middle. I like uh, stitched ones because you can open up, open them up wide and flat. And uh, yeah, even like, I know this is co going off topic, but just even the the fact that she takes the time to do these little bits, you know, she really cares about her products. Uh, it's easier, of course, to just staple a whole bunch of paper and make a notebook. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that at all. Um, you can use stapled notebooks for sure, right? It's nothing. There's nothing wrong at all. But she takes the extra time to punch all the holes in the papers and wax the thread and string the the thread through the notebooks. And it's just that little extra time and effort really, really shows. So. I really do appreciate that about Monique. Uh, so there's an extra notebook. Thank you so much, Monique. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and then the, I'll leave the notebook for the end. <laughs> I hope this isn't going to be too long. I also ordered, let's see right here. I'm going to have to take a look at my invoice because it was a while back with regards to the color names. Oh, I can smell the leather. Oh my gosh. This is a pencil pouch. It's very big. I'm surprised. I don't know why I thought it was it would be shorter for some reason, but this is very, very big. Oh, it's really nice leather. Um, very soft. You can fit a whole bunch in there. And this one, I believe, you can open it up all the way so that you can have all your pens and things kind of showing. And when you're finished, you can just close it up again. Oops, I think you do it this way first. <laughs> Let me show you a... Let me get a pen so that I can show you. Oh, I have it right here. So I have some... Yeah, this is a really nice size. A very, very generous size. I don't know, for some reason I thought it would be more... I thought it would be shorter for some reason, but this pen is quite long and it fits really nicely with a whole bunch of extra space on the side. But this leather is really... This leather is so soft. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. If I can remember the leather name, I will post it right here. It's very, very nice. And I love this texture right here. This textured bit right here for the leather. Um, I like the fact that you can open it up all the way. You don't have to, but you know, if you are looking for a specific 
color or pencil. Uh, you can definitely have it open, but it's very, very spacious. So that's my very first pencil pouch. I've never purchased one from her, but I think with these ones, these are the new leathers that she has, or, um, yeah, I'm, I'm assuming, because I remember reading a post about it, how she has some new leathers coming, or, yes, so I think these are the new ones that are out. I don't know if she has specific colors for them, but... I think the pen loops that she offered, it looks like this one here, this pull-up leather. So you can see the pull-up. I wonder if these are all pull-ups. Oh, this is a pull-up too. You can see the different color change. This is a really nice leather too. They're all really nice. <laughs> okay, back on track. Oh my goodness. So I ordered for the very first time a Morgana Traveler's Notebook from her. I know she has three different three different lines. She has the Pendragon, the original, and then the Morgana. Um, the Morgana is, I believe, seasonal, so she has different colors every maybe every quarter or every season. And that's the information sheet. So that's the Morgana there. And I found one that was kind of like in the earth tone and I decided to try it out. Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. <laughs> so, let me get this out of the way. Oh, wow. Okay, so this is the Morgana line. That's the logo right there and the name of this leather is the Morgana in chestnut leather. I've ordered it in the light brown I believe the light brown stitching and she does or her, her and her husband I believe and maybe she has a couple of um, stuff as well uh, from time to time and she, these are all hand stitched. She pokes the holes and everything is all hand done. My goodness Okay, and she's included this really, really nice uh, earbud holder, and I use all of them, actually. My husband uses them, too. <laughs> I was talking to him. I'm like, it, it opens up to a heart shape, and he's like, oh, I don't, it doesn't matter to me, and he's he's using it for his um, earbuds as well. Um, so thank you, Monique. That's very, very kind of you. So let's open this up. Oh, <laughs> it's really nice. You can see the inside is there, smooth, it's nice and smooth. So there's a secretarial pocket there in the front with a card holder and a B6 sample insert. And, oh, it's this one here. An extra elastic and, oh, a wing charm. Let me get that. So there's an extra. Oh, this is really nice. This olive color. I might change it out actually. Um, it's an olive elastic with a pretty charm there. I might change that up. It's a really, it complements it really nicely. And for my leather tab, I'm sorry, there's a complete uh, pocket on the back so it, it goes all the way to the top here. And all the stitching is hand done. It's always so, it's so great. There's double stitching on the ends there, which I appreciate. Up here as well, oops, sorry, up here and down here. So that's, there's that extra reinforcement. And let's take a look at the leather cord here, the leather strap. Sorry, not the leather strap, the leather <laughs> bookmark and create I put create because I thought you can it would be good for like art journaling but at the same time you have to create your own happiness and I talked about this pre, uh, you know recently in my videos that I can't rely on out outside sources to bring my bring me happiness in my life you have to create it yourself so I chose the word create oh this is really nice. The leather is on the thicker side. I don't know if you can see that there. 
Uh, let me see. Let me bring my um, junk journal. I'll show you the comparison. So this is in the light brown, and this is in the original leather. So let's show you the comparison. Let me move this over. The comparison in terms of the leather thickness. So this, these two, if you compare just these two, it's not a huge difference by itself. But because I've added the pockets here, it is heavier and thicker. You can see that the edges are nicely finished. You can see the shine there. I don't know if she applied some kind of seal, but they are finished. The color is very similar now that I look at it side to side. The lighting isn't the best right now, but um, I don't know if you can see, there's a bit of a shine slightly <laughs> uh, with the light brown. She has two light browns on there, I think. It's kind of confusing, uh, but I believe she has two light browns on there, but this is more like the lighter tanned light brown color, but they're very similar when you put them side to side. And I actually chose the same stitching. It looks like I chose like the lighter color stitching. Um, this is more, of, uh, I don't know how to describe it, but I imagine once using it, it would become kind of shiny like this. This is more matte, if you can see that. But, you know, with your hands, uh, with the oils from your hands, they kind of the Traveler's Notebooks become quite uh, shiny. The inside of this light brown one is like fuzzy, you can see there. But in the Morgana one it is, but in the Morgana one it is smooth. I know with the Morgana line it is a little bit cheaper than the original, so if you are interested in I guess like this kind of a color, you can try out the Morgana line. Um, I decided to go for the pockets uh, because I I find that I want to use this as an art journal and I find that sometimes I need to keep, I want to have pockets so that I can keep ephemera and things that I want to journal about in these pockets. And so that's why I chose the pockets there. It does add a bit of bulk though. But you know me, I don't really take out my planners out that often unless I go for a meetup or something like that. So that doesn't bother me at all. But yeah, if you are interested in the uh, light brown, I think this would be a nice alternative. It seems like a bit in the cooler tone. I don't know if it's because it's still brand new and I haven't really used it yet. Um, but it does just... I don't know if it's showing up on camera, but just looking at it from my angle right here, this feels like a warmer brown, and this feels kind of like a cooler toned brown. But they're very similar in color. Um, it's a really nice, really nice leather. I like, I'm really liking these smooth, <laughs> smooth type of leathers, but I just, I'm just floored with the amount of freebies here, Monique. I don't know if she's watching this, but I, I'm so appreciative. Thank you so much. I, I feel like I need to give back. I need to give back to you that the viewer that's watching these videos. I can't keep this all to myself. That's just not fair at all. So I will do something, maybe do a giveaway. I don't know if it'll be in this video because this video is probably going to be like half an hour long. <laughs> um, but I, I need to give back to you for watching and for always commenting and supporting. And Monique, my goodness, I I am just floored. Thank you so much. Um, but yes, please stay tuned. I need to give these goodies away to you because I think I'm going to... I'm going to compile uh, <laughs> some goodies and put something together as a giveaway because without you, the viewer, I just wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be making these videos. Um, I receive comments about how these videos have been, you know, helpful and it's helped you 
start a new traveler's notebook or it's helped you with your ju journaling journey and because of you I'm here and I can't thank you enough so um, I'm gonna pass this generosity on I, I have to it's just <laughs> it's spilling out so um, please please stay tuned Monique Monique thank you so much I wish I could give you like a huge hug because um, I'm gonna ramble on and I don't know why I'm getting all teary-eyed for some reason I'm not sure what what's going on here but um, Monique thank you so much and um, her notebooks I've I started off with the Midori Traveler's Notebook and of course I've branched out and um, I don't know Monique's notebooks I've I've just kind of kept on with hers they're just really top quality and as I said she hand stitches everything and I remember my um, A6 Traveler's Notebook that I have that I took with me when I had my daughter and I wrote all of these memories in there and oh, I don't know why I'm tearing up this is so strange but Monique um, thank you so so much I really appreciate all that you do and all that you give to the community I appreciate that you make all of these uh, you put so much work and effort into making all of these handmade goods for everybody. So, whew, okay, I don't know what's wrong with me today, but <laughs> sorry for rambling. Thank you so much for watching. Please stay tuned for a giveaway. I will be doing one soon. Thank you so much, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.